All right, this is, we're still talking about projectile motion. This is part two. I was working on the equation y versus x. y is equal to tangent of theta times x plus, minus, sorry, minus gx squared over 2 times the quantity v naught cosine theta, that whole quantity squared. You're like, wow, this is complicated. But let's analyze this equation real quick. V naught cosine theta, this is our initial condition. This is what your angle you're launching at with its initial velocity. So that's just how you start. G is a constant, right? And over here, tangent theta, that's a constant. So really, this is a function of x squared and x. Well, if you remember from your math classes, the one that you do with uh, conic sections, parabolas, the x squared term right here. This tells us the shape of the parabola. And this shifts the parabola by how far you, how big this number is, from shifting the parabola over this way or this way, depending on what this value is. Meaning if you shoot it more straight up, your parabola is going to be a little skinny parabola. If it's shot at a lower angle, you're going to have a flat one right here. And notice it's minus x squared. Minus x squared means the parabola opens downward, which is what we would expect. It's not open upward or everything you throw would fly off into space. All right, so what I want you to do is make sure you have all these equations, but you can only use them in the case of projectile motion. But we have problems with that, so that's what we're going to do now is we're going to do a couple examples with projectile motions.